today i'm gonna be showing you things you should never do in driving empire make sure to watch to the very end of this video because this video is very helpful and it'll definitely help you out especially if you're starting out in the game also make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new anyways let's get straight into it all right so the first thing that you never want to do in driving empire is buying car packs now as y'all know this car packs that will rotate out of the bundles section and there's even a brand new bundle that's called the Hennessy f5 roadster pack now this is 4,000 robux it is definitely not worth it guys just buy this car instead the venom f5 it's actually faster and it's way better on the circuit anyways but also there's another bundle that is in the shop right now the zablingo whatever super series you can get these three cars but here's the thing guys you don't want to buy these because i'm pretty sure if mercedes gets licensed and driving empire they're just going to take this out of the bundle completely probably and it's just going to be in the shop you're literally going to get absolutely nothing out of this that's literally 2500 robux down the drain don't buy these car packs guys it is not worth it you're gonna get scanned pretty much basically is what i'm saying also it's just not worth it these cars are cool and all but they're not worth that much robux there's no way there's, there's no reason why you should buy these guys unless you're big balling or something the next thing that you should never do with driving empire is never have collisions on now some of y'all might actually want it on for like role play reasons or something but just to casually be driving around and just slamming into somebody that's kind of annoying to turn off collisions you want to come down here to settings right here then you want to go to vehicles then you're gonna want to scroll down until you find vehicle collisions and you can turn it off so that's on and that's off boom that easy the next thing they should never do is alt grinding now if you don't know what alt grinding is it's basically when you have your alt account and you're doing a race and like you're trying to win over and over again but with your alt account basically a lot of people do this over at circuit and some people even do it at other tracks but circuit is like the best place to do it like the main place where people do it and like basically it you can get banned for doing this it's not a good idea you should never do it guys even if you're in a private server i'm pretty sure you can still get caught and you will be in trouble for it i'm pretty sure if you are caught they will most likely probably ban you they might warn you if they're feeling nice but they're probably just gonna straight up ban you so i would never suggest alt grinding alt grinding is a dumb idea don't do it guys there's way better ideas that you there's way better ways to grind money in this game guys you should never alt grind the next thing they should never do with driving empire is to never pick up random people it's honestly very annoying when people do it and just don't do it guys this is how people do it they'll just drive by boom they, they would pick you up there we go it, it didn't work for some reason but anyways i'm pretty sure i have my doors locked but yeah guys just don't pick people up it's really annoying it's stupid and dumb and it's always annoying when you you're just in the game and you find yourself on the other side of the freaking map like it's, it's really dumb so don't pick up random players guys that's stupid the next thing they should never do in jumping empire is ruining car meets now as y'all know they just added a brand new car meets feature somewhere i don't remember where it is boom yeah right here basically you can do car meets and stuff and people can join it let's go ahead and start one and see right now what, what will happen here all right let's go ahead and start the car meet guys boom just like that all right start so we are here right now let's go ahead and pull out a super car right now or a hyper car is that's the theme let's go ahead and wait for some people and i'll show you what i'm talking about all right well no one joined but basically say there's like a bunch of cars lined up here and someone pulls out like a big bus or like the school bus and they just block all the cars that's so dumb and i hate when people do that it's really annoying like literally it just ruins the car meet it's just so dumb people just put this huge bus here and honestly they should just be banned from all meets to be honest so yeah never ever ever ruin car meets especially if you're at a car meets discord server they will ban you most likely so don't do that guys the next thing that you should never do is beg to win a race okay it's just really annoying when anyone says that it's just so dumb bro no one's gonna let you win unless they're just I don't know, they just want to, I guess. I don't know, but don't do it. That's just stupid. The next thing they should never do is buy the yacht. Now, as y'all may know, if you come inside of the boat dealership right now, you can buy the yacht, and I think it's like $50 million. Yeah, it's right here. Look at that, $50 million for this. And let me tell you now, this thing is absolutely useless. You do not want to buy this thing. This thing is not worth the thing. You make this thing ugly. Wow, but yeah, $50 million for this, and it's not really that fast. You can't really do anything with it either, which is really weird. Also, this thing really needs a remodel. This is a really old model. I mean, yeah, it looks cool and all, but you're never going to use this. Trust me now, any boats in general, they're all useless. You don't need anything. You don't need any of these boats. So yeah, never buy the yacht, and I'd also probably suggest now don't buy any of these boats, because in this game, boats are honestly just useless. You don't you don't ever use those. The next thing that you should never do in Jogging Empire is don't buy a car unless you actually need Need it. Now, what I mean by this is if you go inside of the dealership and buy just a car that you literally don't need, don't do that. That's a dumb idea. That you're honestly just wasting money, and now you just have this random car to sing your inventory. When you sell it, 
you're not gonna make as much money back. Like here, for example, say if I bought like the Tesla Roadster, you know, I bought like $5 million right there, right? I would honestly never use this car. And now that I bought this, I just lost a bunch of money. And now I probably can't make as much back. Let's see, what's a car that I have in my inventory that I don't actually need? Here, how about this McLaren right here? Let's see how much I would sell it for. Okay, so I get like 200,000 back for it. Now let's go see the actual worth of it in the shop. As you can see here, this car cost almost $300,000. So as you can see, I did actually lose value in the car now. Basically, this is an easy way to lose a bunch of money. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Make sure you drop a like if this video helped you out and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. We're gonna try to get 5,000 subscribers before March. Can we do it? I'm gonna need y'all's help, guys. Let's also try to get 100 likes on this YouTube video. Can we do that, guys? All right, that's it for today's video. Comment down below if this video helped you out. Peace out, everybody.